Welcome, Macy, to class today on this Tuesday, the 12th. Hope you're doing well today. Let's jump right into today's announcements. Um, you have nothing to turn in. You have no incompletes. Now, today, Macy, we're going to work on homework that covers what was taught in class yesterday, okay? The homework that is due tomorrow is these two pages here, page 82, 51 through 58 all, and 103, 25 through 69 odd. There's the help video, about 25 minutes long approximately, so not too bad. Now, let's go over your quiz from yesterday. Okay, now, uh, um, this one here we have to look at, this one here we have to look at, and this one here, okay? did really well. You're not going to hit a home run every time you take a quiz. You got an 85, okay? First mistake was one point off. Second one was four. And every, point, and every mistake thereafter was ten points off, okay? So here we go. Please look at these and let me help you, okay? Now, number three. All right. Here's the answer that you put, okay? You have three and a half over one-third, okay? Now I am using a mouse, so my work will be a little, um, a little sloppy, okay? Now, um, in your numerator, you have 3a minus b, okay? Now watch what I do with that, Macy, okay? Where the a is, I'm going to substitute one-third, okay? So three parentheses, one-third, okay? Minus B, so minus, then parentheses, negative three, okay? Now, here we go. Um, first of all, do your multiplication, three times one-third. Now, it looks like to me, you just put three and a third, right? But Macy, don't forget, three right next to A means three times A. So three times one-third is not three and a third. Now, three plus one-third is three and a third, but not three times um, one-third. So what is three times one-third? Well, put your three over one times one-third, okay? three is cancel. One times one is one. One times one is one. One over one is one. So, three times one-third is really one. Now look at your three here, Macy. You have minus a negative three. Okay? Minus a negative three. Now, it looks like to me, you put minus three. Be careful. Watch your signs, Macy. It's minus b and b is negative 3. Do you see that? Minus b and b is negative 3. So negative, negative 3 makes that a positive 3. So your numerator becomes 4. Now your denominator is a. And a is 1 third. So you have 4 over 1 third. Now, if you would have done it, if you would have done all of this correct, and left your answer like that, I still would have counted wrong. Because you never want to have a fraction within a fraction. Okay? Not your final answer. So 4 over 1 third, Macy, really means 4 divided by 1 third. Now, remember how to solve these. You put the 4 over 1. You change your division to multiplication and you flip this fraction. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 1 is 1. 12 over 1 is 12. And that's the correct answer, okay? It's really important, Macy, you find your mistakes on these quizzes. So if you're still a little confused, please go back and watch that again, okay? Now, take a look at number 4 here, okay? Now, you did a good job of substituting. 4 squared is 16. Negative 2 times 16, negative 32. Everything's great. 
this is perfect, okay? But you emailed me and asked, is this a minus 7 or a negative 7? And I'm going to show you it doesn't matter, okay? First of all, let's pretend it's a negative 7, okay? If you go through and add up all of your negatives, your debt, you get negative 39, okay? Then bring down your positive 12. Now, remember, a negative is like you owe money, so you owe 39, you have 12, you pay off your debt, and you're still left with negative 27. Okay, that is the correct answer. Um, no slam intended, but I'm not sure where you got negative 13. Now, pretend that's a minus, okay? No problem. Look at these two numbers, okay? You have a negative 32, so it's like you owe 32. You have a positive 12, so you pay off $12, and you still have negative 20. And then bring down your 7. Now think about it, Macy. If you have negative 20, and you minus 7 more from that, you're still going to get a negative 27. Okay? I really want to encourage you for the rest of the year to look at all of these signs as positives and negatives, not add and subtract, okay? All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, email. Now, number, uh, the last one, which is number, number uh, uh, six. You missed that one, so let's take a look at it. Okay, Macy, now listen carefully, okay? It looks like you did what I taught you to do, but I think you went through and changed the signs over here, and you're not supposed to do that, remember? You just change the signs in uh, the matrix that comes after the minus sign, okay? So that's probably where you messed up, okay? So this should stay positive, this should stay positive, this should stay negative, this should stay positive, this should stay positive, and this should stay positive. That's the original problem. Now, make this positive and change all of these, okay? And now look what happens. 11 plus 4, that gives you 15. Positive 5 plus 0 is 5. 6 plus negative 8. 6 negative 8, negative 2. 9 plus a negative 4 is 5. Negative 5 and a positive 3, that's a negative 2. And then to positive 2 and a negative 7, negative 5, okay? So don't be discouraged. The only thing you did wrong with this problem here is you changed the signs in both matrices. And by the way, that's a very normal common mistake, but it's incorrect when you when you're subtracting matrices and you change the minus sign to a plus to a positive, you only change the signs of the numbers in the matrix to the right of the negative sign. Okay? And that's it, Macy. Um, have a great day. Please get to work on your homework. Contact me if you have any questions at all.